This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Elmore James wasn't able to play behind everybody. I guess he could do it. But by himself, oh, he could play more with one finger than I could with all my fingers. But playing with other people, he wasn't too good, as far as I could see. Somebody else may see it different, but he could play in more than one style. He could play jazz also. He tuned the guitar differently. Very good. Oh, man. Very few people know he could play jazz. Oh, are you kidding? That man could play circles around B.B. King. Anybody else I'd know. Albert Collins, all those guys. Albert King couldn't stick it to Elmore James' regular guitar. I'm not talking about the side thing. He was something else. Nice guy. I guess he's one of your favorite musicians. Oh, yeah, nice guy. Who are some other people you really admire, respect, and enjoy? All people who play music. But what about musicians you listen to yourself? Larry Dale, Bob Gaddy. I like a lot of people. George Benson. I played with him on a recording session. Kenny Burrell. I played with him on a recording session. Were you at a session with Miles Davis? Yeah, he was down there, but I didn't know if he was on the session. He was a crazy man. <laughs> but I wouldn't say anything bad about the man. He was a nut, but I know I'm a nut. And Chuck Berry. Forget about this guy. I did three nights with him in New Jersey. On the first night, he said... What I want you to do, Jimmy, is stay behind me. I don't want you out there jumping around. I said, well, it's my band. You don't want to play with my band. You can get your long ass back where you came from. So after that night, we got on fine. Otherwise, he wanted me to stay behind him all the time. I told the man, I don't have a boss. The only boss I have is God, and you're not God. So get the hell out of my face. I don't take no boss stuff, because when you have a boss, you don't have your own mind. Somebody's always telling you what to do. That's why I'd never have a boss.